So we are now on nodal analysis, no? So chapter 3 na ta. So take note uh, as we move um with the uh, higher you know, with 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 the chapters you know, the the topic gets more uh, complicated. Okay? So kinahanglan mag study yun, no? So for you know the analysis for for electric circuits and take note that this um major subject of yours you no know, will be used you no know, all throughout you no know, uh, or most of your uh, subjects in uh, your junior and in your senior years. Okay? So, um, nodal analysis and mesh analysis are both um, techniques no, for circuit analysis. So, uh, especially for more complicated circuits or more complex circuits, uh, you cannot use anymore uh, those uh, basic laws or techniques that were introduced to you earlier. You know, say, for example, ang KCL and uh, KVL, no? So, uh, those are only useful no, if you know some of the uh, currents no, in, the, in the branches of the circuit no, or voltages in the branches of the circuit. So, if there is no current that, were, that was um, introduced there or if only voltage sources were, uh, are given no, and all the other um, voltages in the in the branches in the circuits or currents in the circuits are not given or the ones that are required for you to solve then it's it's um kcl and kvl and even voltage division and current division are no longer useful so, but later uh but take note those basic laws that were introduced to you earlier uh even if you are using nodal analysis or mesh analysis no pwede pa rin mag magamit in order to make the circuit um, less complicated. Okay, so uh, you see here in the in the in this slide, it says here that uh, nodal analysis is based na, from KCL, while mesh analysis is based from uh, KVL. Okay, so um, nodal analysis no and mesh analysis are likewise. Um, as I said earlier, the more complicated siya, no? So you see here that um, the first case in nodal analysis is those circuits you know, with voltage sources. No? So voltage sources only. No? What if um, naanay available na current sources? Okay? So what if naanay available na independent, uh, dependent voltage sources and dependent uh, current sources and there are also cases later you know, what if that there are um taurito, uh, depending on the the nodes you no know, if the nodes if the voltage source is found between uh two non-reference nodes okay so um there are additional terminologies here in nodal analysis that you need to understand you know, in order to um fully grasp you know how uh, nodal analysis is um, uh, a, a, how to use another analysis in solving for the required parameters in a given circuit. Okay, so it says here that uh, it uses nodal voltages as circuit variables. Uh, you have to determine the number of nodes in the circuit and you have to select one node as a reference node. Okay, so when you say a reference node, it is that um, node in the circuit where the voltage is equal to zero. Okay, so mali siya ang reference node. So the voltage, yeah, malayo. The voltage is equal to zero. So that is your reference node. So therefore, in, in, in node analysis, you have to identify the nodes in the circuit and assign one node as a reference node. Okay, your node with zero potential. So assign voltages V1, V2, and Vn minus one to the remaining N minus one nodes. The voltage are referenced with respect to the reference node. And these are what you call, you know, this now, these voltages here are what you call the non 
reference node. Okay? So those are your non-reference nodes with letter S. No? So, kasi mas madami sila, no? And your not reference node is just one. And then apply KCL to each of the n minus one node reference nodes on n minus one non reference node and use Ohm's law to express the branch currents in terms of node voltages. And solve to determine the unknown node voltages, use substitution method or Kramer's rule. No? So uh, in our case, no, kung duhara ka, we don't use substitution method anymore. No, we use Kramer's rule. And I believe Kramer's rule was already introduced to you in your mathematics subjects. Okay, so we're going to use Kramer's rule in solving for uh, the unknowns because uh, the, the, the equations that you will get here are linear equations. Okay, linear equations where the, the, the unknowns are V1, V2, dot, 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 up to uh, Vn minus 1. Okay, so linear equations atong makuha. So that's why we can apply uh, substitution method or Kirimish rule in solving for the values of V1, V2, up to Vn minus 1. 